Item 35 is an honor. Discussion? Favoring votes? Uh, carries. 39 is an honor. Discussion? Discussion. Favoring? Discussion. Discussion. Uh, oh, sorry. Council Member Martin. Thank you, Mayor. Just understand the, uh, the, is this a first year that we're doing this? Is this an ongoing practice of uh, moving the dollars from uh, project management, that association with project management, into the CIP? And if you move the dollars within a general fund budget into the CIP, where is the offset with the decrease in the budget expenditures? Councilor Martin, this is a routine practice. We do right. this at this time every year, and it's designed to uh, <laughs> capture the, uh, the associated project costs for these projects into the. Uh, right. The, the, they're managed internally, so so it, it uh, offsets the. Uh, Costs right. And I understand that, that my, my issue is, is we have 3.3 million that's moving from general fund to CIP, but yet general services keeps their expenditures at the same level. We don't send the offset to that by decreasing their budget. So if my budget, for instance, is $5 million in a year, and I'm sending over a million dollars into the CIP, there's some way should be an offset to that where you decrease it's a, it's a credits and debits issue and that's what, what I had a little bit of a fundamental problem with when you see money flowing from general to CIP with no drop down on the general fund within that particular department that's where my question came about so uh, Mr. Dow <coughs> And I understand that this is a, a common practice, but I think it's one that fiscally we should look at because debits and credits have to correlate. I, I, know, I don't think he has the answer. Yes. And so the majority of these people are not the general fund employees. We have salary recovery funds where people who primarily work on capital projects such as these sit and we, and we intend to recover them all year long <coughs> from uh, the construction funds. And so by and large, these actually would not be um, general fund employees. So it, it states here, these employees provide labor and expertise to manage the de design and construction of capital improvement projects. I'm assuming they lie presently in a general fund, uh, but we're going to move the appropriate, appropriate the money to move from the general to the capital improvement so that, for instance, GSD doesn't have to do a drawdown on his overall expenditure. But you know, these in general would be in the, you'd find these in the revolving funds, not in the general fund. Council member, the offset is in the revolving, we keep revolving funds because we know we're going to do this each year. So it, it's an in and out through the revolving fund of the budget. Okay. Uh, maybe I don't understand revolving funds the, the way I should. So. And the source of the revenue for those funds is not general funds. They would be from bond funds and uh, charges to other sources. Okay. But we'd be happy to sit yeah, down I and I, I, I have confidence in what you're trying to do, but I just was looking for an offset to the uh, to the movement of the appropriation. Yeah, the, the, the majority of these are not regional funding employees. Councilman Blaster. Mayor, I, I'm just seeking a clarification for those who may be looking at this item from afar or from the public. It looks as though the, the, some people might confuse items 39 and 40 as, as some element of the CIP budget, but it's not. That, that is not what we're doing here. We're just adjusting the accounts. Is that correct? Correct. We were just adjusting I just wanted that clarification. Although it comes from the bond side. And, and but this is not the CIP budget. No, sir, this is not the CIP budget. It has a drive by look see. Thank you. Mayor Tim Gonzalez. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Uh, this uh, priori prioritizes uh, uh, or highlights priority one and priority two deficiencies that were outlined in the facility assessment report. <clears throat> These are. Um, buildings uh, that have extreme uh, or accelerated uh, deterioration or are at risk of failing or, or having interrupted operations. I think that the supplemental funding comes from uh, the various department budgets. 
So that it's just the supplemental funding that's needed, and then the appropriations also come as Director Dow stated from the various bond funds that are in place. So these are um, uh, allocated through the fiscal year 2014 to, through 2018 capital improvement plan, and then the uh, supplemental allocations are the ones that come from the different department budgets. Thank you, Mayor Cortez Gonzalez. I have confirmed with uh, Director Minix. These are uh, all these employees are 100% funded by the CIP. And so, if you wanted to find these projects in the budget, they would be under the CIP. We just uh, put the money into the. If I'm saying this correctly, put the money into the revolving fund so that we can pay them appropriately through the city system. Thank uh, you. For the discussion, moving to a vote, favoring, opposed, item 39 carries. Item 40 is an argument. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, uh, carries. <laughs> 41 is an argument. Discussion? I'm sorry, tagged by Councilor Kubo. Item 43 is an argument. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. Item 44 is an argument. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. Item 45 is an argument. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, I'm curious. Item 52 is an argument. Discussion? Favoring, opposed, uh, carries. Item 54 is an argument. Discussion? Discussion. Item 54. <coughs> Councilor Bradford. Thank you, Mayor. Item 54 was a, a contingency, a contract that City Council uh, approved and contingency deals, I believe as an attorney is always probably okay, it's a good deal because you per se kind of eat what you kill. And it was 20% of the amount received and I, I don't see where there was a deliverable where 20% uh, could be uh, farmed out. Despite the fact that it was a contingency fee contract that council approved, our council has been asked today to pay on a fee for services basis. And I'm not sure how we can get from a contingency deal to a pay for fee uh, for services. So, so uh, until I can get more of an understanding as to why we've been asked to pay for a contract that council didn't approve for $1.5 million. Uh, and I, I'm baffled by this because contingency fee contracts are standard uh, in, in the legal profession. And if you don't deliver, you don't get a percentage of what you didn't deliver. And if the deal was changed, it seems to me that there was an obligation to come back to council and say that the deal has been modified and it's not going to be a contingency deal unless do a do a RFP or let's make a sole source or something before we spend 1.5 uh, million dollars. So uh, I understand that uh, Mr. Feldman is headed back to uh, town. Uh, Ms. Uh, McAfee and I, we've had a preliminary discussion uh, about some of these issues and I'm still uh, standing uh, with my questions uh, needing their response at this point in time. So uh, having said that, I think we need to uh, at least give Mr. Feldman an opportunity to come back and visit with this council member to try and explain how do we go from a contingency to uh, a fee base. And I see the other attorneys trying to take but they're kind of looking kind of eyes glazed over also. So uh, with that, unless somebody else wants to comment on it, I'm going to go ahead and put my tag on it. Tag. The item has been tagged by uh, Councilmember Bradford. Uh, the other council, there are council members in the queue. Do you wish to? Sure. Release it. I shall. I shall release it. Councilmember Martin. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Councilmember Bradford. I was just curious as to the source of funding being the property and casual fund for something that's in the legal category. 
that, that's the fund that's used for settlements of legal issues. A property and cash flow insurance fund? Uh, this particular this particular item has to do with uh, maintenance and operations of streetlights. It was uh, a long-standing dispute with Center Point Energy. I, I'll have, I can't uh, go down in the weeds with you. I was just curious. The only one can. I was just curious. It seemed illogical to use a property and cash flow insurance funding mechanism to support a legal dispute or anything like that. So, but uh, I'll, 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 let me let me get the expert to, to have that conversation. <laughs> Councilor Green. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor, I also, too, if for legal, if they could look into doing a tag. I see the value of this contract is about 1.6, and therefore would be subject to the city's MBE program, and I don't see a, a, um, a vendor uh, on this, so I would like to uh, know why. Item has been tagged by Councilman Bradford, and I would have questions from uh, Councilman Martin. Councilman Kuba? Thank you. Uh, tag, tagged by Councilman Costello and Kubash uh, as well. Okay, item 